Today on In the Wood Yard, I'm doing some carpentry work. Let's get busy. So today on In the Wood Yard, I am going to take two 12 foot long, 12 inch wide by two inches thick green street lumber, and we're gonna put it on the trailer. I uh, originally wanted to get the rack system that this uh, company makes, the n, &N trailers, the one that I bought here, as you can see, n, n there it is. It's a galvanized trailer I bought on like a week ago now and I wanna get going on getting it ready for deliveries. I've never used it yet for a delivery. Um, everything I've been delivering the last week or so has all been single face cords. And I wanted to get my sides put on, which are gonna be the green treat right here. And so yeah, it's a 12 foot trailer. So I just measured and it's not actually 12 foot. Uh, it is 142 and a half inches, I think, um, because you've got the pockets on the ends here. So it's just a little bit uh, shorter than 12 foot. So I gotta cut the boards off. That's why I got my uh, skill saw out. And um, I wanted to have these sides be because 12 inches is going to come to somewhere about in here. It's not actually 12, it's 11 and a half or whatever it is nowadays because nothing's what it says it is. Uh, I wanted to go 16 inches, but 12 is as wide as they make, as wide as I could find here. So I went to Home Depot and got some decent boards. The ones I got look really nice. There's not, there's not much for knots in them at all. They're pretty, pretty clear. I mean, there's a couple of little ones here, but nothing major. And uh, I'm gonna put them on. Now, my plan is, is that eventually I wanna build the sides up even higher. Um, the rack I wanted to get, they make a, well, it's a stretch metal uh, with a frame on it. And they had a 24 inch version and a 36 inch version. Obviously for people that are hauling, you know, debris like, you know, branches and mulch, dirt, leaves, things like that. Um, and I really like the idea of getting them, but I didn't really like the price. The 24 inch ones were $1,900 for the two sides. Yes, $1,900. And the 36 inch ones were $2,200. Yes, 2,200. So I said, I'll pass. And the boards I just bought were less than hundred bucks. I think right about hundred bucks. And so I'm gonna put those on. So I'll have my sides up to about here. And eventually I think I might go another eight inches or so up. I don't wanna go super high, uh, but I am gonna go a little higher eventually. But for now I wanna get these on so I can start using the trailer um, as it is. And I thought about you know putting decent oak on there, but I never had a problem um, with any kind of weight problem with the green treat that I had on my old trailer. There's really not that much weight pushing on it um, because it's got this uh, catcher right here too, so you're really not getting much of a bow to it. If I had to, I could put a reinforcement um, piece like here and here and then each side over there as I add another piece up to it so I could easily reinforce it because I could secure it somehow um, down here there's a hole I could secure it up so I, I can make it stronger and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the uh, the bulkhead with the roller with the cover yet I'm going to leave it on for now but I may extend this up higher another eight inches or so to get it up and then be able to put another header underneath that so I can go another eight inches higher on the header up there it's a pretty high head the way it is though I think it's like 26 or 7 inches already so it's not too bad but if I could go up higher yet and then go up even higher with the sides here so that I end up with about a 36 inch size what I would like to get so I can get a three foot deep um, sides and the front and my back gate is actually higher than the sides which is different than my old trailer my old trailer um my back was a lot lower my back gates were a lot lower um this one here i think is 27 or 20 inches high so that's actually pretty nice the way it is i don't think i need to go up with that but i do want to go up higher on the sides here so i'm going to do a little bit of construction job here i'm going to cut the boards get those in place i already got the bolts i got galvanized because the trailer's all galvanized so i figured well, i'll just stick with that so I've got some carriage bolts I'm going to put in on the ends here, both ends, and then I got some leg, leg bolts I'm going to put in right here on uh, both sides. And that'll be good for what I'm going to do now. It's very solid and everything. So this will be the first uh, use I'm going to get out of it because I'm going to get this put on, and then I got to order for two face cords of oak I'm going to throw in. We're going to go deliver that. So it's going to a customer that buys usually two full cords for me. Every Actually, I think this will be the third time I've been there this year. Yeah, I think this will be the third time. He usually gets two face cords at a time. He heats with one, usually goes through 
uh, two, two full chords every year. So this will be the third time I've been there. You get two face chords. So I'm going to uh, put the boards on and then we're gonna go deliver, load some wood up and then go deliver it. So it's time to get building. So I just measured the uh, inside of the, the pocket where it's gonna go. It's 142 and three quarters. I just wanna double check my measurement. Yeah, 142 and three quarters. So I'm taking off an inch and a half is all. And uh, I'm gonna get them cut down, plop them in, drill a couple holes, and then uh, bolt it in. Oh, it's 145 these boards are. So yeah, 142 and three quarters. That's what I've got. So we'll get this marked and uh, I'll do some cutting. Beautiful day today. It is about, I almost hit the line there. It's about 40 uh, degrees almost, like 38-ish. They said it, it could hit 38, 39 today, so that's about what it is. Pretty darn nice out. The sun was out before and it was much warmer. Now we got a breeze and it's cooling off a bunch, but not too shabby of a day to be outside, that's for sure. Better than being inside any day. So we're gonna do some cutting here. Might as well cut this one first on this side. One. There's two. Should have used a chainsaw. That'd have been more manly, wouldn't it? To use a chainsaw. All right, they're done. Now we're gonna go slap them on. These are pretty heavy. They gotta be a good 50 pounds a piece. And uh, you probably, I don't know if you guys are looking, you might notice that I took off the, I took off the, uh, my racks that are on the side here, my uh, ramps. Um, I took the ramps off because all, all they're, they're just held in with a pin. You pull a, you know, a keeper key, a keeper pin, and then I pull a big bolt out that holds it on. And they just sit here, they rattle a lot, number one. That's number one. Number two, they're pretty easy to take off. And they were $600 for the pair. They're 5,000 pound ramps a piece, so it's 10,000 rated. Each ramp probably weighs, boy, I bet a good, a good 60, 70 pounds. They're really heavy. So I just keep those inside because I won't be using them a lot. And when I do, I'll put them on, I'll use them, keep them put away. I'm also gonna do something with my spare tire on the side too. I'll show you that right now before I slap this board in place. I'll walk over here and I'll show you the uh, spare tire on this side. The spare tire just sits in a, uh, a rack right here. There's like a, uh, a bar that slides down into that bracket they have there and it's just bolted in place, but it just sits there and it's kind of loose. It doesn't, it doesn't fit tight at all. Plus, all you can do is take these bolts off, you can steal the tire, and that was a, like a 225 bucks. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna get a small lock and lock this and put it down around, so I put it somewhere down around inside of that uh, bracket so I can lock it on. And I think I'm also gonna see if I can find a tire cover in one of those covers that a lot of people have to cover the tire to keep it out of the, you know, protected from the sun because it's just gonna be hanging out here. Because I pretty much wanna keep it on the trailer whenever I'm using it, which is all the time. But I just don't like the way it rattles, number one. Um, so I'm gonna tighten that up somehow. I think if I put some washers down inside of here, yeah, because it's, it's not as tight as it should be. I'm gonna tighten that up and, uh, and now I'm gonna lock it on there somehow, I'll figure something out. Maybe they, they, somebody might even make a lock that goes, if somebody knows, let me know if there's a lock that you can put on that would go between here that would lock it on. Um, Cause that would be kind of a neat little thing to have. Um, but I'll figure out something to get locked on so nobody is borrowing it from me permanently. Okay, back to my woodworking. It's really nice is I've got step sides that are really nice plated diamond uh, uh, steel. And I cut this so it would be just snug as could be without not fitting. So it's pretty darn tight. Oh, I see the problem. Where it's welded here, there's some welds on the inside it's scraping on. I didn't account for that. 
Well, let's see if I lift this up a little bit. There we go, then maybe she'll fall down. I want it to be snug, so I think it might work. Yeah, I think I can pound that down. Be right back, I'm gonna go get a convincer. Okay, well, I got my convincer here, and I see part of the problem is this is bent in slightly. So I'll give this a little, there we go. Now it should go in. Perfect. That is solid. Snug as a bug in a rug. Nice. Well, it might not look as nice as the, uh, the stretch metal with the frame and everything with the, the basket type system that they had available, but for $1,900 versus uh, $100, I think this is a smarter move. Now, like I said, I might build this up another eight, nine, 10 inches, I don't know. I'm gonna try to get to where this is three feet, which means I'm gonna have to go up at least, I don't know, I'll have to measure it, about, about to here. But I wanna make it so that I can get, go more vertical with the wood because I did get the six foot wide trailer. I did not get the uh, seven foot wide or the 84 incher. I got the six foot wide because I go into so many narrow driveways and so, into so many garages that I didn't wanna have a super wide trailer. And uh, just driving it back, the little road trip we had coming back with it, trail's really nice and you don't have to worry about so much extra because all that you got extra is this little bit right here for the wheels you don't have a lot extra sticking out so worked out really well so there this side is uh on but i got a bolt in and we're gonna go slap in the other side now i might place it instead of slapping but there may be some slapping all right well, let's see here i think this is the prettier side yeah definitely it's got a little some planning marks on this side cut marks so we're gonna put the pretty side to the outside, our prettier side. I wouldn't say it's pretty, but it's prettier. Okay. Looks like this one. Oh, it's gonna go just a little snugger yet. Come on, baby. Oh, here we go. She's starting to drop. I need my hammer. Got to get the hammer. Might have to trim some off. This one is just a little tighter. Or maybe not. I think it's going to go. The problem is there's some welds that are thicker in the joints. That's where it's sticking a little. But... I think it's gonna go. I'd rather have it be snug than loose and floppy. <laughs> there we go. This one sticks out a little bit. Oh yeah, she's going down. What I could do, now that I look at this, I think I might, I think I might raise both sides up and leave an inch. It'll gain me another inch it won't matter, it'll be just as strong. I don't know, let's go down and just see. Actually, I think it'll be better just all the way down. There we go. All the way down looks good. And my plan is, eventually, I'll let this stuff age a little bit and dry. Although this was inside, I bought this at Home Depot, and I'd rather go there to get um, wood than some of the other places, like around here there's Menards and some of the other lumber yards where they store their stuff outside. And some of the wood is in piles and it's just heavy and wet because it gets rained on and it never really dries. This stuff being inside for quite a while, um, I could tell it's dry. And when I lift it, it's lighter than some of the other things that I, I looked at. So this gets dried out maybe in like another month or so, maybe two months. I might pop it off, take it out and paint the whole thing. And I might actually paint it either red to go with the red uh, of everything else, or I may paint it with just like a Rust-Oleum silver so it looks just like the galvanized. I'll put a couple coats on it and it should, should look really nice if I do it. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it green like this till it gets some age to it and dries out a little better. So yeah, I'm gonna get some uh, nuts and bolts and we're gonna put this puppy on. It's time to make some holes. This is a half incher, so that's what we're gonna use. Cut 
Come on, baby. Come on out of there. There we go. Good. I had to go through the metal bracket on the other side. I had to make sure I was going straight and I must have not hit it perfect. Because she bit and she wanted to break my wrist. Because uh, I'm pretty wimpy. It wouldn't take much. Okay, so my plan is uh, I got carriage bolts. I got half inch carriage bolts and I got carriage bolts and I got galvanized ones. And the only thing I'm concerned about is, you know, this the square part that locks in usually um, won't go through this deep enough. So I'm going to have to drill the other side out just a little bit to get it to sink in. But I want to put the rounded part to the inside so it doesn't catch. But it's going to look better if I go to the outside like that. And yes, it doesn't uh, go in all the way. So I might take my Dremel and cut a little... A little bit of this out and square this off so that it fits the uh, the bolt of the carriage. Because I want it, want it to sink right in there. I want it to be flush because I want it to look pretty. So at least that's my plan. Or I could go with the carriage bolt to the inside and have the nut stick out on the other on this side. But that would look kind of dorky. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill this out. I think I got a a bit. I can drill this out just a little bit bigger. Yes, yeah, a little bit off and get that to uh, the work. So I didn't show you because I didn't turn the camera on, but I just drilled this hole a little bit bigger. So now this, uh, this, this bolt head will fit down in there. It'll seat in there a little better. It's kind of tight, but look at that. She's flush. Awesome. So that's going to look a lot better. So it sits flush now, as you can see. Looks all pretty. I'm going to climb up inside and I've got a a lock washer and a nut. I think I can just reach over the top here. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm trying to reach. And I'm just gonna put it in loose for now. There we go. That's on. Now I am going to put this one on next, I think. So on the side bracket holder, I'm just gonna use a one and a half inch leg bolt. And uh, I already did a pilot hole, so it should go in pretty easy here. Figure, I'll try the leg bolt, and if I don't want that, I can always drill it out and put a bolt through. But I want to kind of keep the sides clean where the wood slides out. I don't want anything catching. So I really didn't want anything on the other side there. Come on, baby, get in there. Just a little crooked on me. <clears throat> Strip it, but I want it tight. There, she's tight. There, that one's in. Down to the other end. So on this side, I have a little bit of warpage here and I thought I could just push it down drill the hole but it, it's a two inch thick board 12 inches and I couldn't push it down I saw it before so I just went and got one of my pipe clamps and I'm gonna I just uh I'm gonna clamp it down here and get it to see I'll move you guys over a little bit so I'm not hitting you it's gonna clamp it down squeeze it down then drill the hole and it'll be good so this is uh just gonna get clamped down here I needed a bigger lever, so I'm using my socket to uh, get it down here. It uses a lever for cranking on this, because I got to push pretty dang hard, because it didn't want to go down. I laid on it up on top here and pushed, and I got it to move maybe a half an inch, but I had to go down a good, a good inch at least. So there, that's done. Now I got to grab my drill, drill my hole, and uh, I put the bolt in. Come on, get in there. There we go. There we go. I just got to drill this out bigger. All right, I got to drill it out bigger so that the, the head seats itself on the uh, square locking part. And I got the lock washer and the nut on the other side. I'm not too happy about having that nut stick out because that's right where the wood slides out, so that's going to get hit all the time. 
But worst case scenario is I just spin it around and have the nut, nut on the outside instead of the, the inside. But it looks better having this head here. So I'm just, so you can see, I'm just gonna crank this on now. And I put a lock washer on this side. And I'll get it good and tight. suck it together so it's pinching Whoa, there we go there that side's done there we go so it is on and I got a little bit of space right here where this one came up just a little bit because I had to drill that hole all a little bigger but that's yeah, darn nice so take the clamp off we're gonna go over the other side and do the same thing over there but that one's nice and straight and level as you can see there's no space there that's a real good board no curve to it just got to drill the holes and slap in the nuts and bolts now we're on the other side, and I'm going to drill these out. Make sure this is down, although it looks like it is. Just got to try to stay square with it here. There we go. Just got to drill it out a little bigger and then put the bolt in. Just going to put the bolt in. I think I got it drilled out big enough now. Might have to do a little convincing here again. I don't want it to be loose. Oh yeah, she's going in. Yeah, I had the hole just a little bit too small so that when I put in the, the carriage carriage bolt, it seated itself nice and nice and tight on the outside here. I'll just crank it up here. So yeah, I'd like to go up to get the 36 inches on these sides here. Is the way I figured it. I can then get two full cords in here if I had to. But I wanna be able to throw a lot of wood in loose and not have to stack anything to fit it in tight. I wanna be able to, uh, my plan is anyway, to be able to have it so that when I um, put in loose wood, I can put all I want, you know, five or six face cords or two full cords. Loose would be nice. But I don't know if it's going to fit yet, but I didn't want to go any wider, so that's what I've got. So we're going to do the other end now, so we're going to go down there. That one is in. Now we're gonna move down over here and I'm gonna put in the center one, the support piece on the side here. I already drilled, drilled the tap hole, so all I gotta do is just crank in the, the leg bolt. And I did get, I did get other bolts I could put on here, but I really didn't want anything sticking out on the other side over there. So I'm gonna leave these on and like I said before, worst case scenario is if it doesn't work, I will just uh, drill the holes and I'll put the bolts all the way through. Um, but this should work. Just fine, because it's what I had on my other trailer, and I had just a cheap piece of bracket, nothing even welded on. I just drilled a couple holes and put a strip on there with some um, bolts going in. This is much heavier duty than what I had before, and it worked just fine with that, so. Here we go. There it is. The sides are on, bolted on, and, uh, it looks pretty, but I think I'm gonna make it prettier. Like I said before, I think I might paint these to be silver with that Rust-Oleum silver paint. It's a metallic paint. I'll let these sit on a while, or maybe I'll paint them red so it looks red, but it'd be kind of cool just to have it so it's brighter and something that pops. We'll see, we'll see, I'll think about it. But now, we're gonna hook up the trailer. We're gonna go load some wood and go deliver it. Here we go. I hooked up my trailer. I'm about to back it up to the wood pile. So I just wanna show you some of the features of this trailer that I like. It's got a, a drop lock here that goes down so you can lock the, the gate and just go up and it's got the knuckle down there. It's, uh, it's got a real good fitting here and here with a, looks like a pillow block. I don't know if it's greasable, but anyway, so that opens up. But on the inside here, I've got these flanges right here that what you do is you put the gate right into it so it's held on both sides. So it goes right in just like this, as you can see. So that's kind of nice. 
And then when it opens up, and go all the way across, and I'll flip this down. And coming over to here, I've got a chain that's mounted permanently on the side. And then I can just hook right up here into this. I can go up here, I can show you. Right up in here into this screw I they have there. So your gate stays pretty much closed. Oh, I could close this down another couple of inches and I may do that. I may shorten this chain up so it's real tight all the time. But that's pretty, pretty good for most of the time, just like that. But I may take a link or two out of this to get it so it's tight and I probably would have to do, I don't know, looks like I'd have to take out at least maybe three links to get it so it's as tight as possible. Cause where it makes contact is down inside on the, the release for the spreader bar. Cause this, this uh, whole gate tips, tips out this whole gate right here, tips out this way too. So I have a spreader on it. So it's like a tailgate, I mean like a dump truck. So it pops out and on this side too, I've got the same thing. There's just a permanent chain over here. And then up in here, there's a, a little screw. And in here, it's the same thing. I'd probably have to take out, it looks like, I would guess probably three links would do it and it would stay tight all the time. So there's that, which is really nice. So yeah, um, it's got D rings in all four corners, which I don't know if I'll use that much because I don't know if I'll ever haul my tractor with it. I mean, I could, but I don't know if I can with the bucket or not. It would fit, and weight-wise, it would be fine. Um, like I say, there's the ramps that mount right there that I took off, and uh, it's all LED lights. I've got LED lights encased there, and then way down underneath, you can see there's LED lights down there, too. It lights up really nice at night. So here's the bolts you can see sticking out. I wasn't too happy about that. I'd almost rather have the the top of the carriage bolt on this side um, so it's not catching anything but I it's just wood for the most part if it's a problem we'll take it out and spin it around or just buy a different bolt this is the one I worry about the most because it's where the wood comes out right here so it might catch a little bit there but it's probably gonna also catch on the D rings here too probably uh, more than likely so there it is so we're gonna back it up and chuck some wood right now Now, for those of you that noticed when I was back in the trailer, there was no lights because I don't have them hooked up yet. They do work. I just didn't hook them up because I'm not going to take this load right away. I'm going to get it loaded, and then I got a couple other things I have to take care of in the next couple hours, and I'm going to take it at the end of the day so the lights work. Chucking time. So there, I got it backed up, and uh, I'm going to chuck in this roll of wood, this partial roll, and then I got a rolling back that I'm going to take some from too, so it'll be two face cords or two-thirds of a cord. This is the first time this wood, any wood, is going to be going into this trailer. Ta-da! It's loud. So, yeah, we're going to chuck this in and then go deliver it later today. And then tomorrow, I have for sure, for sure two deliveries. Actually, one is a pickup. I got a customer of mine, of mine that's coming. He's getting to pick up some wood for his uncle, and he's going to come back and get some wood for himself that he resells. So tomorrow's gonna be a, a pretty busy day here too. But that's like pretty much every day. that is not two face cords or two-thirds of a cord it is about a face cord and two-thirds and I was getting to some of this wood and a lot of a lot of it got wet and I know this guy will burn it right away so I wasn't liking how the water drained onto this and it got wet 
So I have a pile of locusts over there, and he said he would like some locusts because he had it in the past and he really liked it. And I told him I would have to do a moisture test on it to see how, how good it is, and I just went and tested it, and it's 19, 20%. I split a piece in half, well, I split two pieces in half, some of the bigger ones, and it said 19, once said 19, once said 20% on the inside. So he's gonna get some locusts along with it, so we're gonna drive over there and put some locusts on next. So I just backed up to the trailer, it's right behind the camera. I backed up to this pile of locusts here that's not stacked yet, because all the other locusts is stacked over there. This never got stacked, which is okay, because now I can just throw it in. I'm gonna take the stuff off the top and it sure sounds dry. It's got that clinky sound. Sounds great. And I did, like I said, I did a moisture test on it and it was 19, 20%, so it should be good. So I just gotta guess at how much I'm throwing in here. I'll probably throw a little extra in. He's a real good customer, so if I give him a little extra, he'll be happy. And I've been selling wood to this guy now for, it's got to be six, seven years at least. Um, he's one of my original customers I sold to. I remember one of the first times I went there, because he had a firewood guy that he was buying wood from that got him some crappy wood. So he was real particular, and he wanted to make sure that it was dry, because he had some stuff that when he got it, it was uh, very, very green, very wet wood. And uh, so I took my moisture meter the first time I went there and showed him the wood and he looked at it and he split a piece open and felt it and licked it, tasted it, rubbed it, whatever. I mean, he wanted to make sure it was dry and it was and he was happy and he's been a good customer ever since. So like I said, that's sometimes you get customers that are very particular because they got burned by someone else providing them you know, a poor quality product. And uh, that's how you get, get really good customers. Because once you win them over, they're yours. As long as you don't screw it up and do something stupid like sell them wet wood. Especially for guys that want it to burn now. I mean, it's one thing if they're going to be burning it, you know, next fall. And I have a, another customer tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll get that delivered. One of my longtime customers that is... Uh, the guy and he said it's not going to use any of this wood till next year so i'm actually going to cut on that i don't know if you can see it from the camera but there's a pile of oak right over there when i cut right from that end split it throw it right into the trailer and i'm going to deliver it and we're going to stack it um you've seen the guy before if you've been watching the channel it's mark he's a good customer and uh he wants one more full cord and so that's what i'm going to do is uh take it from the the wood that's right over there, not even cut yet. I'm gonna cut it, split it, chuck it, deliver it, and then stack it, which is a good way to do it. Just a lot less touching, a lot less storage, a lot less space for me. It's good for him, it's good for me. Everybody's happy. Everybody gets a prize. So we're gonna speed this up again. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? So that is over two thirds of a cord or two face cords. I threw some extra stuff in from that pile. So I think it's to be good. And just by looking at the trailer, I'm gonna have no problem at all fitting a loose full cord. They got plenty of pl pl room up here, not even all the way to the top. So a loose will fit just fine. And if I go up another I don't know, I'm gonna try to go up maybe another foot. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Tell me what you guys think. Should I go up a foot, eight inches, six inches? I don't know what to do. We'll think about it. I also wanna know what you guys think. Do you think I should have silver or should I do red? So it looks all pretty. I don't know, we'll see. Red would fade, I think. Silver might look kinda, kinda better and shinier and stand out a little more. There it is. We're gonna go deliver it. Probably not for another uh, two hours. I got another job I gotta go do. And at the end of the day, we're gonna go deliver this load, so. Next time you see me, we're gonna be chucking wood.
this, folks. The delivery is done. It is dark. I just unhooked the trailer. I still got the lights on just because I want it to, you know, light up really nice and pretty for you. So one thing I just found out from that delivery, um, I had the trailer tipped all the way up and the wood doesn't slide very good on the galvanized. Um, I had the gate closed and I wanted the wood to slide down to us, but once you get a log jam there, it doesn't go any further. And with having the high back end like that, you can't just reach over the edge, you gotta open the doors up. So there is a little bit of a issue there I'll have to figure out, but it goes really nice and high. It's got the gravity down, which I did, which is really cool. I don't know if you saw that in the time lapse, cause I backed up, we took a bunch of wood off, I tilted it up, pulled ahead, tilted up again, backed in. So we kinda had to jockey around trying to get the wood out of there. This is a customer that I, we stack the wood every time. I back right up to his pile and we stack it. Um, but I'm back. Delivery is done tomorrow. I have two more deliveries for sure that I know of, and I might have a third one. So that is what's gonna happen. Oh, one of them is not a delivery, it's a pickup. So tomorrow we're gonna be moving more wood. So come on back, it'll be fun. That's it for today, folks. Poke the buttons, you know what to do. Hit them all, hit the like, subscribe, share. Tomorrow I'm gonna be back in the wood or you should come back too. It'll be fun. Between now and then, get outside, get cotton. Good night, Irene. Mm -hmm.